What's going on YouTube? Yet another installment on my E36, uh, still with 241,000 miles. Today I went to uh, LKQ to get a bezel for the automatic. <clears throat> the part that I am working on is this did not want to illuminate. And uh, I went and got one from a 318. One quick note, if you want to take out the bezel, there's four little hooks. Um, the internet says to pry here. Do not pry here. What you can do with a very small precision screwdriver or a plastic, plastic um, bezel tool, pull this up, get it out of the way, pull this up, get it out of the way. And as you can see, it's right here. So just push, lift, push, lift. Um, after you do the push lift, uh, you can see that two tabs are here, two tabs are broken. This was from the donor car. You will have to pop out the uh, automatic manual button. Um, that's what I did. Um, two things to disconnect that. And then this is a pressure um, fit. So it just goes in. So you want to use a little um, uh, screwdriver and just wiggle it side to side and it pops out. On this model, um, on the E36 and on the E30, I believe, or E90, there is a, uh, I think it's a four millimeter. Um, some people said uh, it might be a Torx. This thing was worked on previously, so I don't think it's a Torx. Anyway, I had to actually physically take this thing out um, in order to let this release. So this is my or original, and when you flip it over, or I should say when I took it out, I found this lying inside uh, the gear area. So this is supposed to go right here. So this is tied in. I believe the bulb is right here or here somewhere. So this is the original. And if you flip it over, that's not there. And this is broken and it ties in right there. So very carefully, I, I pried these things off with two um, screwdrivers. I did lose one right there, but at least it's held in place uh, in four different spots. You can see how filthy the original was. You know, you got to take care of these cars and they'll take care of you. So now we're going to walk back to my car. There's the money pit. All right, so both of these things are bolted back in. That one right there, and then that one there. One thing I noticed right away that I didn't notice initially is this plastic, this piece right here, it's a little bit different. So the difference is the other one was round, and this one has this piece right here. Now I'm assuming that it just catches differently, and it does take up a little bit of space on the actual shifter rod uh, aesthetically so it's not that big of a deal but uh, I guess it should take up the gap right there whatever and then these you just pop back in somehow probably this side nope just flat all right, so it takes two hands to push this thing in. Uh, the easiest way to put this one in is pop this thing out. You're able to flex it. Hopefully it goes back in. And it just pops in. All right, so everything's back in place, but I did have, I did have to pop it out for a second because this right here, this portion of it, that's where this attaches to. This is the light and you can adjust it slowly if I can do this one-handed and what that does uh, 
So the last thing to fix is this thing. It tends to stay up. Um, I read that like the E30s or 90s have like a piece of foam in here. So now the last thing to do is to put this Allen back in, in that uh, little area. All right, so that was a five minute video on uh, how you can actually get a part from the junkyard and work on it yourself to fix it and to keep this thing alive. Uh, next thing, like I said, is the shift knob. I do want that button to, to go up and down and not just stay up. All right, thanks guys. Uh, leave a comment, leave a question, thanks.